very beautiful uh, story that I had come across about a sadhu, uh, you know, who was giving very good teachings. And uh, one village man, he goes to the sadhu and he says, I uh, want to get some knowledge about the absolute truth from you. And the sadhu says, uh, very well, go to uh, the river, take bath, come clean and I will give you the knowledge. So he goes and he takes bath and he comes to the sadhu. The sadhu has a beautiful ashram on the top of a hill and there are steps leading to his ashram. And while the man is walking up the, up the hill, there is this one man who is sweeping this, the floor. The, the dust goes to this man. This man gets all upset. I just took bath. Can't you see I was walking? And why did you do that? He gets all upset on him and almost ready to beat him up. And then he goes to the sadhu. And then sadhu says, well, look. Just now I saw what you did. So I, think, I guess first you need to control your temper. You come back to me after a year. So he says, all right. And after a year again, he takes bath and he comes up. And the second time, the same man, he's sweeping and the dust goes on to this man, you know. And this time, you know, he didn't uh, abuse him physically, but he curses him and uses all swear words. And then when he enters the sadhu's room, the sadhu is again like, look, you need to control your temple, you come back, you know, come back after a year. The third time he takes a bath after a year and comes to this sadhu, again the same thing happens. But this time um, he doesn't swear any words, but mentally he's upset. So when he walks in the sadhu's room, the sadhu is like, uh, I, you know, I, I think you need one more year. After four years, when he takes bath and comes, and this time when this man, not only the dust, the whole bucket of dust is uh, thrown on this man, this, uh, this arrogant man, he just holds the feet of the, the sweeper and, you know, shows his gratefulness. He said, because of you, you know, the last four years that you have done to me, now I've lost my anger, I've lost my ego, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to you. Thank you so much. Because of you, I learned how to be patient. And then when he walks into the sadhu's room this time, the sadhu uh, immediately blesses him and he said, now you are, uh, you are ready to take the spiritual knowledge. And I thought that was so beautiful. The step by step, the way the sadhu purified him. He purified him of his ego. He purified him of his arrogance. And ultimately, he made him grateful. And I thought that was so beautiful. You know, this time he was grateful that because of you, I could get this good qualities. Because of you, I could give up anarthas. Sometimes we blow this balloon of ego, of different anarthas, and it's only... A saintly person or a guru who walks in our life and puts a pin and pricks our balloon, you know, unless we have some guru or unless we have some devotee uh, who is going to take this trouble to, to help us uh, remove our um, anarthas. No matter what you do, you can simply go and stand in front of Krishna and you just pray and come back. And we feel very comfortable with the deity because deity doesn't point out our faults. But when you are dealing with a devotee, he corrects you, he guides you, he, he will uh, uh, chastise you, right? So. To have a devotee in our life is a boon because only devotee can take us back to Krishna.